Drawing in a way that brings your subject's personality to life and tells a story in the process requires observation and technique. In this video, I'll show you how to do that with colored pencils. Before you begin, ask yourself, what do I see first? Which features show me what this cat is up to? In this case, I first notice his tongue sticking out, then his paw on his tongue, then his eyes squinting, and then his ears pointed upwards. These are the storytelling features that I'll keep in focus while drawing. Here I've gone ahead and traced the outline of Chico from a photo taken by my sister-in-law. Keeping the storytelling features in mind, I'm layering color while adding tonal value. This is also key to bringing portraits to life. All you have to do is observe where the dark values and the light values lie. To keep it simple, I'm using only a few colors. Goldenrod, Nectar, Dark Umber, and Black. It doesn't matter whether you use more or less, the technique of layering and adding tonal value stays the same. Keep in mind, pressure affects intensity. The harder you press, the darker and more burnished the color will be. Coloring in light layers gives you more control over the drawing. You can not only adjust the temperature with warm or cool colors, but also erase to reveal highlights. Small circular motions with light pressure will give you a soft texture. For detail and definition, use the sharpened tip and add pressure to the strokes. If you find that you're not quite getting the results you want with these techniques, it may be one of two things, the colored pencils or the paper. Lack of strong pigment may result in lighter drawings, while fragile paper may make it difficult to blend. You can then either upgrade your materials or use this as a challenge to develop a solution. That's how new styles are born. A soft facial tissue makes blending color and blurring detail easy. I use it after each layer to soften harsh lines. It may be tempting to add details everywhere, but choosing one focal point is best. In this case, the focal point is Chico's facial expression, so I'm making sure to keep this area sharp while blurring the rest. And because the layers of color are light, it's possible to reveal highlights and fine detail with a stick eraser like this one. Anyone can draw a portrait, but drawing a lively portrait requires observation and technique. Remember to hone your skills with regular practice, keep pushing past your limits, and never stop learning. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for new videos every week.